Sanchez and Joy Philbin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you in okay? I'm here. Okay, Tuesday, October 25th, 2005. And Joy Philbin pinch hitting yes. for Kelly today. Yeah, I yesterday. Such a big audience to on a day like today. Yeah, well, it's raining. There's no place else to go. Here. <laughs> yeah, yesterday Kelly announced uh, she wouldn't be here. She's she's on was, assignment. No, no, no. As she calls it, I'm taking a personal day. <laughs> well, excuse oh, us really? for breathing the same air. Is that allowed? Can you take a personal she's day? She's taking it's a something personal school, day. Right? Like what's so personal going on in her life? Well, maybe it's parent-teacher day or something like that. Nah, Those are important things she, you have to show up. She doesn't care about that. Oh, she's doing a commercial. She's shooting commercial. Is that what it is? Yeah, she's working. What kind of a commercial? What's the product? Tide. Tide. Tide? I was just thinking about, you know, last night um, when you left, um, I mean, you were out, how quiet it was, and I didn't hear any ball game. I didn't hear any scores. I didn't. And you missed it. <laughs> you know, I kept saying to myself, this is really nice. You know, I didn't realize <laughs> how polluted my brain is from your sports. It is, but and Regis has a thing now. Um, he's just discovering a portable radio. I know that sounds funny because other people are into, you know, Blackberries and iPods, but Regis now, and I bought him for this for him for his birthday because he asked for it. He carries this portable radio around the house so when he's traveling between TV sets, he doesn't miss anything. That's true. And the final insult was Sunday morning. You took it, you brought it to the breakfast table, and we had Mike and the Mad Dog on while we had breakfast. I gotta be with the dog and Mike, you know that. And I think, I think it's time. It's time. Are you kidding me? You're going to take my something. portable radio away I mean, from me? I'm almost jealous that you have found something that you... Joy. Not, not now. It, you haven't found it. You've been doing this for years. But I wish there was something that I found that fascinating. That why don't I was you join me on the, the sports TV. deck? Why don't you join me, Joy? And it's a whole new world out there, an exciting world of sports and, uh, you know, and athletes and things like that you could really get involved in. You really could. Well, I like Notre Dame football. I will sit with you and watch Notre Dame. Yeah, okay. Your loyalty doesn't seem to be just exclusive to Notre Dame. You'll watch anything. Anything. Well, nice shot of the New York skyline on this rainy day, if taken from uh, Brooklyn. Tomorrow on our show, Antonio Bandanis will be here. From Scrubs. Yeah, he's hot right now. Mm -hmm. And also, Project Showwise continues for its third month in a row. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will meet her third date tomorrow with the guy that uh, PerfectMatch.com picked yeah. for her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nuclear scientist, yeah. I guess, uh, named really? John. Yeah, and Kelly, Exciting. of course, Kelly will, be, will back be back from her personal day. <laughs> All right, here she comes now. Her latest project, the romantic comedy Prime, co-starring Meryl Streep, opens this Friday. Please welcome the lovely Uma Thurman. Look at you on this rainy day. Nice. I know. Nice rainy to, day. Yeah, nice to see you. Uba lives here in New York City, and so it seems to me like the last two or three movies you've made have been located right here in New How York. Lucky. Yeah, yeah, it's been my own private. Yeah. Maybe you know? put, I thought maybe you put that in your contract uh -huh. because you have two small children. Well, I, I beg and I plead. Yeah. I beg and I plead. and, and I Absolutely. And working with Meryl Streep, I mean, what was that like? Oh, it's just fantastic. Were you, you know? kind of like... Oh, my goodness. Did you, you have, have a chance? lot of scenes. I'm sorry. You have a lot of scenes together, too, don't you? She's yes, a therapist. Yes, we did. I mean, it's a very funny premise, this movie. It, I, I love the premise of the movie. And of all the... Joe, I'm <laughs> gush over somebody I know. You just hope not to, um, uh, you know... Uh, alienate her in the work exactly but you know <laughs> but but Uma, I must tell you this that over the years when I look back now at people who I admired so much and yes. made a profound uh, difference in what a gush and you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable but I'm sorry now I didn't do that well so I'm going to tell you now Uma, you made a big difference <laughs> in <my life. laughs> we'll be right back in a minute <laughs> tomorrow on live oh my god what a 
funny scene. That was a funny scene, right? Ah. <laughs> Not something you want to have to no. try to do in real life. I don't want to hear that. All those things. Anyway, it looks like a very funny movie. Prime opens on Friday. Well, thank you very much. So good to see you again, Bob. Bob Joyner coming up next. We'll be right back. I want, you to, I want you to see your father right there. What is he, 91? Pops is 87. 87, all right. But he was he was whistling with his... Sure did. Yeah. And the anyway. lovely lady sitting next to your that's, father, of course, is your wife. That's your my wife. Oh, she's yeah. beautiful. Shatner? You. Oh. <laughs> well, what about Shatner's speech? Bill Shatner was great. He did a, he did a speech. Been worked all your life, all your life, yeah. and and it's and it's and it's and you don't have much longer to go, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I guess I have afternoons. And wow, and, and that's how it started. And that's how well, that's, that's a how terrific started. story. And now all these years he goes to TV. What are you starting? Do you know, Tony? Pretty soon we, we are in our fourth week this weekend. He's in the fourth week already. You got to check your um, area syndicated to me and find out exactly where. Tom, good luck to you. Congratulations again. Nice to see you, Tom. Project Showwise coming up next. We'll be right back. There they go. Off on their first date. Did you see Molly, her dog, snapping him? I don't think he likes Bill. Not a good sign. <laughs> when we come back, we'll talk to Shelly about the date. Thursday. I'm now uh, I'm going to show you some photos from the date last night. Now I'm going to hold these these photos to that camera. Just stay on the pictures there, Brian. You went to Blue Smoke, a yes. jazz club? Yeah, jazz club and bar. A sweetheart. But here's what I like about this guy. He is imaginative. Yes. He's got a dog named Otto. You've got a dog named Molly. Yes. So he sent you a new collar for Molly. Yes, he did. He didn't get and flowers. Otto wrote Aww. a letter to Molly. Yes. Look at that. With a paw stick right there. More information on our website. Live will return in a moment. Talking about Laurie Schulweiss's date last night with Bill. And you know, Bill had uh, all that. Uh, wow, what do you think, Laurie? This guy looks cute together. He thinks he's Tom Jones eating with his fingers. What do you think of this guy? I think nine, he's a great fit. One to ten. Give me your rating. He's probably eight and a half, nine. No kidding. Yeah, That's pretty guy. high. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, anyone rated that high so far? Well, there's only been two. There's only been two. Oh, so. All right. Another one tomorrow. Huh? He promised.